today. And want to thank um, I want to thank our witnesses for sharing their um, perspective today on the need to renew uh, GSP and MTD and the impact <clears throat> the delay has on your particular businesses. And uh, this roundtable is timely today, following the positive action as has been alluded uh, on the Senate side with the Crapo Widen Amendment and the introduction of the House Companion from Reps Brady and Buchanan. And it emphasizes the need for a timely reauthorization to support the American workforce and employers. And I see it with the cost to my constituents and it, it is real, uh, the consequences of not acting. And I continue to hope that we can work in a bipartisan manner uh, on the House side like we've done in the past uh, to move these uh, reauthorizations forward. As the co-chair of the Digital Trade Caucus, I've been particularly engaged on adding new GSP eligibility criteria on digital trade and I've inter introduced legislation uh, on this issue. And I'm pleased that that language, similar to my bill on the digital criteria, is included in the bill introduced by Reps uh, Brady and Buchanan. And I hope we can find, again, a bipartisan path forward on digital issues, including digital reporting requirements and criteria for assessing GSP eligibility with our Democrat counterparts. I think it's important now <clears throat> more than ever to develop a bold and forward-thinking digital trade strategy to protect American businesses and workers. And uh, if you look back at the USMCA and the digital chapter there, uh, really set a gold standard for uh, future trade agreements and what we need to do. Uh, and obviously the COVID pandemic has highlighted the need for this. Uh, so with that, uh, to our panelists, um, maybe if you could um, comment on, you know, after we've come out of the COVID pandemic, um, do you feel there is any acceptable link that we can afford to go uh, without reauthorizing GSP and MTB delays, uh, and, and uh, if you, if any of you could uh, take that and comment on that. Um, can I just say that it's not just the renewals, but the fact that we face this uncertainty over and over and over again. And yes, it's usually retroactive, but you actually never know. And so you can't bank on it. And if the, the time for renewal starts to stretch out, you have to raise your prices. And then that has a cascading effect throughout this whole ecosystem with thousands of people that are affected by each of our companies. Thank you for that, Nina. Anybody else care to comment? You know, I just quickly add uh, um, that the time is of the essence for us. I mean, it's it's millions of dollars in uh, in expense that that has never been part of our our budget, and so you know, it it is days are important, not weeks or months. Thank you, David. Thank you, Vern. Thank you, and 